Hi everyone, my name is Maria Celo Franco and uh, we're going to start our yoga class today. So for today you're going to need a mat and a rolled up towel. Um, if you don't have a mat, you can also use a towel uh, and place it in the floor so that you have an idea of uh, what's your movement area. But be aware that you should do that uh, on a carpet, like on top of on a carpet so that uh, the towel doesn't slip. So one of the things that uh, I missed the most when the university closed was uh, not being able to go to Yates Fieldhouse. And I think that a lot of you guys feel the same. Uh, I miss my group, uh, my uh, group fitness uh, classes and uh, doing some workout. Um, so with that regard and thinking about our community, we are launching this effort of doing the classes online so that you guys can also have the opportunity of, you know, getting your group fitness classes and doing some uh, uh, mindful connection uh, with yourselves as you are going through uh, this, uh, I mean, I don't want to call it crisis, but going through these uh, difficult times. Okay, with that said, um, I will do modifications uh, uh, and you will be able to choose what feels better for you today. So to set an intent, close your eyes and uh, let's start, uh, find a, a comfortable seated position and let's start using your Jaya breath. That's big inhale through the nose with big exhales through the nose. It's going to produce this beautiful ocean sound breath. And as you go deeper in with your breath, you're going to probably get a sensation of calmness. Inhale through the nose, relax shoulders, shoulder blades down. And for today, we're going to pick a spot that catches your attention. So take a big breath and ask your body what area of your body needs your most utter, most beautiful attention. Make this area huge. For example, neck, shoulders, maybe chest, heart area, hips, And devote the rest of this class to bring health and brightness and lightness to this area. If you haven't picked an area, make your heart center, your chest, your area of choice for today. Change the cross of your legs and place your left hand behind the back. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right left, up, sorry, right hand to left knee for spinal, seated spinal twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine and on your exhale, relax the left shoulder down so that you start making, um, you start unwinding those tense areas in the upper back. Inhale into your chest bones and on your exhale, invite softness to the face muscles. Inhale, lengthen the spine and on your exhale, feel whether you can align the, the, your skull with your spine and with your sit bones so that they are all in the same uh, axis. On your next exhale, unwind. And let's do the other side. Bring your right hand behind the back. Inhale, left arm up. And on your exhale, left hand on top of left knee. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale. 
exhale, relax both shoulders. And just be gentle with this first pose because you might find some, uh, you know, that the, the muscles are still uh, cold. And so be gentle with how much you twist and how much you bring shoulders down. Just go with what your body's telling you. Come out of this pose on your next exhale unwind and lay down on the ground for modify version of elbow to knee okay clasp hands behind the head press both feet into the ground inhale tuck tailbone and on your exhale bring both elbows towards the left knee Peeling the left foot away from the ground, pull belly in, inhale back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, exhale both elbows to the right, peeling the right foot away from the ground, pull belly in, inhale back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, exhale both elbows to the left, peeling the left foot away from the ground, pull belly in, inhale back to center, hold breath, Curl tailbone up, exhale both elbows to the right, peeling the right foot away from the ground, pull belly in, inhale back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, exhale both elbows to the left, peeling the left foot away from the ground, pull belly in, inhale back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, exhale both elbows to the right, peeling the right foot away from the ground, pull belly in, Inhale back to center. Let's do this one more time. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale both elbows to the left, peeling the left foot away from the ground. Pull that belly in. Inhale back to center. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale both elbows to the right, peeling the right foot away from the ground. Pull that belly in. Inhale back to center. Bring the head down. And now inhale both knees towards the chest and on your exhale both knees towards the left side and get your spine infused allow the spine to get infused with your breath as water pouring through a cascade as water, as water, water pouring for through a waterfall Let that sweet ocean sound breath bring calmness to your body. To come out of the pose, inhale first with one knee back to center, then the other, and then let's roll to the other side. And I have to whoop, scooch. and breathe very deeply into the spine. Allowing your body to get deeper into the twist. To come out of the pose, inhale one knee back up, then the other, hug both knees towards the chest, and let's go and move for elbow to knee. So at this time, grab your uh, roll up towel and place it between the thighs. Legs can either be straight or bent. This is entirely up to you. Toes fanning, clasp hands behind the head. In, but we're going to do two part abs with a roll. Inhale, press lower back into the ground. Tuck tailbone, squeeze the roll. Exhale both elbows to the, uh, towards the knees. Inhale, back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the roll, exhale, this time both elbows towards the sky. Feel the difference of your engagement of your ab muscles. Pull that belly in, inhale, back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the roll, exhale, both elbows towards the knees, pull that belly in, inhale, back to center, hold breath, curl tailbone up, Squeeze, roll, roll, ex squeeze the roll, exhale both elbows to the sky. Pull that belly in, 
Inhale, back to center. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Squeeze the roll. Exhale, both elbows towards the knee. Pull that belly in. Inhale, back to center. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Squeeze that roll. Exhale, both elbows to the sky. Pull that belly in. Inhale, back to center. One last round. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Squeeze that roll. Exhale, both elbows towards the knees. Pull that belly in. Inhale, back to center. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Squeeze that roll. Exhale, both elbows to the sky. Pull that belly in. Inhale, back to center. Bring the head down. Feet down for um, bridge. Keep the roll where it is. For this bridge, your hands are passive by the side. Um, sorry, so let's first set up a the shoulder distance uh, you can brush the heels of your finger uh, of the you can brush the heels of your feet with your fingertips and then after doing that positioning of the feet and shoulders um, take the hands the arms are passive by the side palms facing up press both feet into the ground inhale tuck tailbone and lift the low upper back lower back upper back and uh, uh, from uh, uh, from the ground inhale into chest and on your exhale press both feet into the earth inhale lift your hips and feel how your ribs flare and expand here even if your area of choice is not your heart center right now breathe into heart center and feel how that area expand with each inhale And now breathe in your area of choice. What is this pose? How is this pose affecting your area? Here your shoulders should be relaxed, the neck long. Your legs are the primary uh, uh, powerhouse in this, in this pose. They are the ones working for you. Your arms, your shoulders, they, sh they shouldn't be doing any, they, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be engaged. So let those hips go and rise. And you will feel a lot of engagement of the glute mus uh, muscles and the hamstrings. And now engage the calves and let those hips rise a little bit more. To come out of the pose, on your exhale, bring the upper, mid and lower back and into the ground and let that sacrum completely sink into the earth. Completely and engage. Take your roll up mat, Place it to the side. We're not going to need it anymore. Inhale, hug the knees towards the chest and on your exhale, roll to one side and then very gently bring yourself back up into a standing position. We're going to start our sun salutes. Okay. Okay. Starting in mountain pose, feet uh, parallel to each other, hip distance apart, fingers are spread wide, shoulder blades relaxed, tailbone tucked slightly. Take a big breath into your spot and check with that area, how is it feeling now uh, co in comparison to the beginning of the class? Have some tightness melt away. It, does it feel more open, lighter, brighter? Inhale the arms up. Exhale forward fold. Step the left leg back for low lunge. If you need extra padding for your knee, just use a towel. Inhale the arms up. 
exhale hands down step the right leg to meet the left plank inhale here exhale modify chaturanga knee down chest down inhale low cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale step the left leg between the hands low, uh, back knee down low lunge inhale arms up exhale hands down and step the right leg to meet the left for a forward fold inhale the arms up exhale hands to chest inhale arms up exhale forward fold step the right leg back low lunge inhale the arms up exhale hands down step the left leg to meet the right plank inhale here exhale modify chaturanga knees down chest down inhale low cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale step the right leg between the hands left knee down low lunge inhale the arms up exhale hands down and step the left leg to meet the right for a forward fold inhale the arms up exhale hands to chest inhale arms up exhale forward fold step the left leg back and this time you have it have the option of making it a high or a low lunge inhale the arms up exhale let the hips sink inhale into chest exhale bring hands down and step the right leg to meet the left plank inhale here exhale modify chaturanga knees down chest down inhale low cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale step the left leg between the hands for high lunge inhale the arms up exhale send those hips down and shoot like the back heel away from the hip feel a very nice stretch in your hip flexor exhale hands down and step the right leg to meet the left for a forward fold inhale arms up exhale hands to chest inhale the arms up exhale forward fold step the right leg back for high lunge inhale arms up and then clasp hands into the back inhale lift chest exhale move the knuckles or send the knuck move the knuckles towards the back heel inhale into chest bones exhale relax shoulders so that the neck feels long now notice how by doing this uh, there is a sense of freedom in the neck area and this and that sense or that perception just comes from changing our posture and clasp hands bring the front leg and step into plank inhale here exhale modify chaturanga knees down chest down inhale low cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale step the right leg between the hands for high lunge inhale the arms up exhale clasp hands behind the back inhale lift chest exhale move shoulder blades down towards sit bones inhale press both feet into the earth exhale feel how your aim how your legs get engaged breathe into your area invite softness to that area what do you want this area to be the home of home of What do you want that area to house? We can hold a lot of different things in several parts of our body. So maybe your area is holding something that you don't need to hold and you can let that go. And clasp hands, bring the front leg and step the left leg 
to make the right for a forward fold. Inhale the arms up, exhale, hands to chest. Now we're going to start our V series with vignettes. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, and you have the option of jumping into chaturanga or stepping into plank. Inhale here, exhale, plank. Inhale, cobra. And here in cobra, stay for a second and allow the shoulders and shoulder blades to move away from the ears. Feel how that engages your arms and liberates the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, and you can move through a child pose and downward dog, or you can move through a plank and downward dog. Step the left leg between the hands for warrior two. And since I don't want to give my back to you guys, I'm just going to switch sides. Mm -hmm. Align heel to arch, alignment. Inhale, arms to the sides. And just feel your reach. Moving the arms away from shoulders, sinking the shoulders down. Sometimes we're just doing this. We just need to let the shoulders move down. And it will depend on how tight you feel in the upper back area, shoulder area. Tap the tailbone slightly and invite softness to the neck, to the face. Let those thoughts go. <sighs> Inhale here and on your exhale, reverse warrior, right hand on right uh, thigh, left arm over left ear. And you can have the head hang so that the right ear moves closer to right shoulder or you can look into the ceiling <laughs> uh, or you can even close your eyes and let the head relax focus your attention on the left area of your rib cage and that left area expand with the breath Bring the left shoulder down and around so that the armpit is being hugged and the upper trapezium feels more spacious. From here, if you want, you can swing your left arm towards the left thigh and move the hand away from the left shoulder and that will intensify the stretch in the neck, this area. From here, we're going to move into extended warrior. Place your left forearm on top of left thigh right arm on top of uh, over right ear. Now, don't let the body collapse on your left side. So this would be if you were letting it collapse. Just move the torso up and away. Lift the chest so that it opens and feels spacious and then let the head hang. Spread the fingers wide. Mm -hmm. If you feel that your legs are quivering, that's okay. Press both feet into the earth. And you can work on, you can stay here or you can slide your arm towards the ground and lift the right arm up to the sky. Mm 
your next exhale, bring the right hand down, frame the front leg, sort of like switching to a high lunge position and then step into plank. Inhale here and on your exhale, chaturanga, or you can do modified chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or you can do low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can move through a child pose and then down dog. Now this time, step the right leg between the hands for warrior two. So again, I don't want to give you guys my back. So I'm going to switch my stance. Make sure you're having your arch to heel alignment. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, sink those hips into the earth. Inhale into your area. Can you reach your area with your, with your breath? If your area is your, are your hips, maybe you can breathe a little bit with your belly. Like that, you get a little bit more in touch with your breath, eh, with your area. Your next exhale, bring the left hand, reverse warrior, bring the left arm uh, into the back, right arm over right ear. And now let that right, uh, the right side of your um, uh, rib cage expand with the breath. Let the intercostal muscles, so those are the muscle between the ribs, to expand. and get curious about how much breath you can get into that area. So I always feel that the rib cage is like this accordion that gets infused with the breath and then opens and then close. So just imagine that you're doing that with the right side of your rib cage. From here, if you want to go into that neck release, taking the right hand uh, on top of right thigh and moving the right hand away from the shoulder and lifting the chest slightly. Lift the toes. And from here, relax the jaw. Your next exhale, extended warrior, right hand on top of right thigh, left arm on top of left ear, and let the right, in, um, oh, the right ear move closer to the right shoulder. Adjust your stance if needed. And from here, you can stay in this position or go into the ground with the right hand, left arm up. So this is entirely up to you. Breathe into the chest, expanding the chest, and feel how that creates a sensation of richness. And you can reach the ground, you can reach the sky with your arm. From here, bring both down and both hands down and bring the front leg. Move through a high lunge and then step into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, modified chaturanga or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or low cobra. Here, roll shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. And you can move through a plank and then go into downward dog. Aha. So from here, we're going to step the left leg between the hands for warrior one. Align heel to heel alignment. The back foot is in 30 degree angle or 45 degree angle, 30 degree angle. The, the front leg is bent and then you can swing your arms up. 
relax shoulders down. You have the option of having your arms parallel to each other or clasping hands. You have the option of looking straight, so your wrist is straight, or looking up. This is entirely up to you. <sighs> Make sure that you are breathing in the back of your heart, the upper back area, expanding that area too. This is an area where we could be potentially experiencing a lot of tightness, especially now that we are <laughs> having a lot of courses online. Uh, you know, we're spending a lot of time sitting and this might be a part of your body uh, next to uh, lower back too that might be uh, a little bit tense or overused. Okay, from here we're going to do eagle arms, right arm over left. Inhale into chest and on your exhale move the forearms away from the chest and up. And feel how that widens up the upper back. And you can relax the head into your arms if you want to. From here, we're going to bow forward for Emu. And if this is, and if this is not your cup of tea tonight, today, you can place your hands on the ground, or yeah, on the ground, or touch, uh, or just touch the ground with your fingertips. That will help you get more support. You can let the head, head hang here. Press the back foot down into the earth, especially the, the uh, right rim of the foot. And lift the toes so that your feet are not grabbing into the earth. Frame the front leg and very gently moving into a high lunge and step into plank. Inhale here, exhale modify chaturanga or chaturanga, inhale cobra or low cobra, exhale downward facing dog. Just um, notice how I move through, uh, you know, those different types of um, vinyasas, downward do uh, 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 cobra, sorry, um, plank, uh, to chaturanga, to uh, cobra or plank, low cobra, uh, uh, modified chaturanga to low cobra. And I use them interconvertedly because I use them depending on how my body feels, so you can use those modifications too. Step the right leg between the hands for warrior one. Align heel to arch, let's see. And then go straight into warrior one. Let those hips sink down. And again, you have the choice of clasping hands or having them parallel to each other. Breathe into your spot. How is your spot feeling right now? What does it need from you right now? And let that area talk to you. You might or you might not 
get answered today. But if you keep asking areas in your body, what do you need from me to heal? What do you need to me from me today? Then those areas eventually they're going to answer back. Our next pose, eagle arms, left arm over right. Inhale into chest. Exhale, move the forearms away from chest. Inhale into upper back and feel how those muscle fibers uh, expand with your breath. Our next pose is Emo, bowing forward. And you have the option again to bring hands into the ground. Let the head hang. Relax your jaw, relax the forehead, relax your gaze. Allow any tension remaining in your body and in your spot to melt down, to melt away. Our next pose, plank. Inhale here. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And I'm going to move to child pose, downward dog. So now we're going to start our cool down series. Step the left leg between the arms, between the hands for eagle, no, not eagle, sorry, for pigeon on the left side. Left knee towards left hand, right ankle towards right hip. And you can skip this in an upward position and you will feel a stretch in your abdomen or you can bow forward and then you will feel a stretch in the outer side of your left hip um, and also an opening in the hip socket. Let the lower back expand with your breath. Let your hip get touched by your breath too. Allowing those tendons to stretch and lengthen. From here, we're going to go back into downward dog. Do it very gently. Step the right leg between the hands, right knee towards right hand, right ankle towards left hip. And then again, you can do, you can stay up straight or bow forward. And again, breathe into your lower back, right hip area. And you can do this by just uh, breathing uh, into belly. That will help those areas expand with your breath. And it will be a more of a, we will get more of a feel of how breathing into that area means. Okay, from here, bring yourself back up. And then, 
let the right buttock muscle touch the ground and swing your left leg towards the front and we're going to move into a seated spinal twist place your left hand behind the back inhale your right arm up and on your exhale right hand over left knee and now just check how different this um, seated spinal twist feels from the one that you did at the beginning breathe into chest and on your exhale relax both shoulders Breathe into collarbones and on your exhale, align the back of the skull with your sit bones. From here, on your next exhale, unwind, bring the right hand behind the back, inhale, left arm up, and on your exhale, left hand on top of right knee. Inhale, lift chest, exhale, relax, both shoulder blades down. And now feel how spacious the neck feels, how long. Some tension definitely has been freed from your upper back. If you want, you can deepen the twist slightly. All your muscles are warm, so it's safe to engage in a deeper twist right now. Okay, from here, unwind and lay down on your back for your final resting pose, Shavasana. So here in Shavasana, extend the legs allow the body to get in touch with the ground shoulders move away from ears hands are passive by the side palm facing up the legs are unengaged they, they will open as a book and you can stop using your ujjaya breath now you can use your normal breath and breathe into your spot how is it feeling What does it need from you to continue this journey of mutual understanding? You are now making a bridge between your spot and yourself. And it is up to you to keep that bridge intact by asking your spot what it needs, how it feels. What are you holding? What do you want to let go? At this point, if you want a longer Shavasana, this is a good moment to pause the video. If not, start wiggling your fingers the toes, the ankles, and the wrists. Give yourself a big stretch. And then hug knees into chest. And roll to the left side. And stay here for a little longer. And then very gently bring yourself back up, being the head the last thing to come up. Bring palms together, knuckles of the thumb touching the sternum. Congratulate yourself for bringing some healing power to your area today and Focusing yourself on being healthy and, oh, what else can I say? Thank you very much for uh, sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.